Okay, I'm gonna check out what's going on Yeah. Oh my gosh, so they just went on the test ride, apparently. I'm pretty sure I missed out on it. I'm gonna park right here. I don't know where everybody else parks their bikes. All right, so these are the guys that did my fork seals. What is this? Oh, demo bike, R3. Oh, that's awesome, R3. Oh, I guess I should take my keys out of the ignition. <sighs> Just a quick run around before I go into service. I left some parts here that didn't work on the bike and I forgot to pick them up. So is it FC7, I think? Yeah, FC07. That's pretty good for stock. It looks awesome. Yamaha. I did not know they made an R3. How cute is that? So yeah, I just saw a group of people leave and yeah, I assume that was the test ride. So I'm gonna go in and dink around. So brand new. Freaking R3. FJ09. Ah, oh, it's like a candy store. So nice. <laughs> Why am I whispering? I don't know. Ew, gosh, look at that. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Ugh. You stick a tag on that and be so ugly. This looks awesome. Handlebars. FC1. Big ass bike. Ah, I think I could I could probably ride that across country for sure. Oh, it's got a windscreen. Yamaha. Hey Derek. Or R3. R3. <laughs> R3. R3. And okay, so go ahead, what were you saying? So they built they built the Yamaha 3, the R3, R3. to compete with the Ninja 300 and the Honda CBR. Honda. Um, they have a couple different lines now and up to the 500s. So, mm -hmm. the, But the nice thing about the Yamahas mm -hmm. is they made it a 320cc, gave it a little bit more, uh -huh. a little more torque than the 300s. Okay. It, Check one out. I'll try and ride that bike. It's, it's a noticeable difference over what Kawasaki has there. Is 300. It? They're both nice. parallel twins, both fuel injection. But with that extra CC, it really gives it that little bump. Oh, good, good. I started on a Cowie 250, and uh, I've ridden the little the 300. I'd rather ride an R1, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, that the R3, I don't, I don't know. That seems interesting. They're fun. They're light, super light. So, and better go get signed up. <laughs> Yay! Choose a bike. I hope. <laughs> Be like, oh, I don't know. Do they like discriminate? <laughs> Have you ridden an R1 before? Okay, I just signed up for the FJ09. It looks huge though. <laughs> FJ09 is big. Yeah. The FZ09 is the smaller one. So it's it's like the FJ09, but it's like the stripped down version. So it doesn't uh, have the big cowling and the big Yeah. Windshield. This is a little more long distance. It's quite intimidating. touring style. Sport touring and this I is just a sport. Totally naked and yeah, okay. Huh. So I think I might change it. I don't know, I wanna sit on this and see. It's crazy. Oh, and the R1. Okay. I came here for the food. Okay, so I'll be riding the F FZ09, not the FJ09, I guess. Thank goodness, because it's all luggaged out and windscreen, it seems really tall and I don't know, I'm just gonna eat food and wait. Yay! I know that girl! Lene! So, Lene is out here. She rides an R6. And I uh, met a, another person. We talked bikes for a little bit. And, uh, well, two other people that have shopped at Cycle Gear. <laughs> so, um, I met a massage therapist. That might come in handy for Massage Envy. But they do Moab trips and stuff. So, it's exciting. Meeting people, like, as usual. 
Uh, a lot of people look familiar because Psycho Gear is right around the corner. And I don't know, this should be fun. I'm excited. Woo hoo. Unsafe acts, stoppies, wheelies, burnouts, weaving excessively back and forth in your lane, or what we call slingshot. That's kind of waiting, getting a gap, and then aggressively rolling on a product. We don't want you to do that as well. So keep those things in mind. So, Super Tenere. Who's on the Super Tenere? And the FJR. Anyone on the FJR? Okay, Super. You're on, the, you're on the FJR? Okay, those bikes, as well as the FV09 and the FJ09 have drive modes. With those two bikes, it has two drive modes. It has a Sport and a Touring. You can change that on the fly, whichever mode you want to be in. All you need to do is close the throttle. So you can, while you're on the way, you can uh, change that. I'd like you to get familiar with where the button is location and the dash, the readout on the dash, before we get moving. Because I want you to uh, don't avert too much attention to that as opposed to traffic around you. The FJ09 and the FZ09, they have three drive modes. It has standard, A, and B. In both cases, both types of motorcycles, are all four actually, what the mo mode does is change the throttle and engine response. In the touring mode, the engine response is not as evident or quick as in the sport mode. For the FJ09 and the FJ09, you have on the A mode, that's your quicker throttle response. On the B mode, less of a throttle response. And obviously the standard is in between the two. So again, standard. Get familiar with Gear up, mount up, and start up. Okay, good. Okay. Wow, totally naked bike. Ah, hot seat. I'm probably not going to talk much. Standard mode. So it has A, Sport, and then B is the touring mode, a little less response. And then standard in between is the regular mode. So that's what I'm on. And let's see, kill switch. And <laughs> interesting. Oh, it's very upright. Oh, wow. I feel like I'm sitting in a high chair. Whoa. Really grabby brakes here. <laughs> Sorry, I went. <laughs> wow, oh my gosh. <laughs> Very responsive. Wow, I can see really well. All right, I guess we're gonna wait for the, everybody to catch up. Oh. Wow. <laughs> All right, a little grabby in first, but I'm gonna stagger this. He said stagger. Oh my gosh, I'm in second gear. <laughs> it's quiet. Oh wow, I feel like I'm <laughs> in a high chair. It's balanced perfectly. I don't feel like there's a high or low center of balance. <laughs> it's quite nice. I knew it. I was going to freaking fall in love with it. Wow, I feel like I'm on parade. So just like a Yamaha, it's pretty grabby in first, but <laughs> it's so freaking comfortable. And just like, yeah. But second gear, oh my gosh. Nice, Super Tenra, okay. FJ09. I was gonna ride that one, but it's like fully loaded. And it seemed a little bit taller. 
I do like this one. It's light. Here they come. Yay. Oh, can you see? <laughs> it's exhilarating. I like it. Of course, I like it. Oh, it just feels really nimble. For a 900cc bike, it feels lighter than mine. Like it. Oh, stale. Oh my gosh, look at this thing, it's zippy. Suppose you could turn it into a supermoto. I always get out of first gear as soon as I can. <laughs> That's when I fell in love with riding motorcycles after I made it through first gear. Oh my gosh, I love it! Look at, I mean, it's just, woo <laughs> Okay, they said don't deke around and be swerving and all that stuff, so. I'm just gonna stay close. Oh, look at, I'm just whipping around those little manholes. Holy crap, this is like my 250 on freaking steroids. Okay, oh my gosh, sorry guys. I, I was nervous about, you know, test riding a new bike, but. And just like the street triple, I, oh my gosh. I feel like, it sounds like a damn scooter though. Oh, indicate. And my right leg is hitting this. Whoa, don't wanna hit that. It's really quiet. I think it should be more grumbly. So we kind of got separated. He should pull over and wait for everybody, I think, but. So yeah, cornering's a little bit different. Actually, it's a lot bit different. It's a whole new world. I like it. So it must come to a complete stop. I can't see. Whoa, pants got stuck on the pegs. Oh. Dang, I was going to get on it. <laughs> Just a little bit. Let's see. Oh, this is good. We're kind of just like coasting. Oh, there they are. Hey, Isla Beeps! <laughs> oh man, I could do this all day. Power, more horsepower. I look like a robot, had to explain my helmet a lot. I got to talk about my S20 a little bit. These guys are using the Cardo Q9s or something like that. They are not too happy with it, so I was kind of stoked to tell them it's on sale right now at Cycle Gear. So you're supposed to do staggered. I was paying attention. And then when we come to lights, pull up behind him. Just keep it tight, yo. Was I in second? Mm. Just like mine. Damn, neutral's hard to find. Okay, here we go. V-Star. Well, I don't feel like my ass is being all kicked out on this one. Oh, stall. <laughs> that sucks. I fail. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so awesome! I'm like, oh, I feel so perfectly erect. 
Now there's no windscreen, I know, but and it's totally naked, but I think, shoot, I could do this for days. I'd like to see how fast, or well, not how fast it goes, but it, how it feels um, on the long distance. Because the wind's hitting me right in the chest, but when I wear my backpack and everything, I pray for that wind when I'm on my R6 because it holds me more upright instead of being hunched over and stuff. At about 80 miles an hour, the wind holds you up perfectly. So I wonder if this is going to beat me back a little bit, but 2015 SC09, oh my gosh, I love this. I love my baby too. I could never get rid of her. But two bikes. Oh yeah. I was hoping we'd hit this. Third gear. Aw, oh, come on. Oh, it's only 35 miles an hour. Or the mountain up there. It's got a nice canyon ride. I've done it a million times. But probably not since we're in a group. I think they're going to give us some highway. Yeah. Bummer. There's a nice road that goes right along top, the top of the mountains right there. Here we go. Oh, boulder. Oh man, I don't have to like tuck and lean. Oh my goodness. You just freaking dip. It's like you're dipping your hip. <laughs> I put my hand up on your hip. When I dip, I, you dip, we dip. <laughs> oh man. So, this is all right. Oh wow, so I'm, I'm like almost flat footed on this thing too. Compared to my R6, I'm tippy toes all day. Oh, my boots keep getting stuck on the pegs. Or my pants, like, cause I have them. These are men's pants and they're rolled up one. So it keeps getting hooked on the pegs, but it seems all right. Wow. So there's Kennecott, that big orange mountain turned inside out. You can see it from space. It's Kennecott Copper Mine. I don't even need to, I mean, I'm in second gear. 40 miles an hour. It doesn't even sound like, I mean, it's not screaming or anything. It's like, yeah, I got this all day long. The throttle's not grabby at all, but it's super responsive. So I'm just moving it like a hair and it, <laughs> it goes. Well, we got some bumps. Let's see how these go. Boom booty, boom booty. Not bad. I would have felt that on the front of my R6 for sure. This is bouncy. Oh, I love this. I'm so glad I made it today. So it's up till two o'clock in the morning with my buddies. We went to a party and then decided to put my forks in so I can make it here today. Oh, bumpy, 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 bumpy. Woo but I was so excited to get out. I couldn't sleep. I woke up at like eight o'clock. I set my alarm for like 9.30 and I don't know. I, I was just excited to be here today and make it in before work. I'm so glad I did. I know why they do these test rides. It's so you freaking buy one. So you fall in love. And I'm ashamed to admit that I didn't know Yamaha came out with a R3, technically the R320. And um, it's fuel injected. It's their version to keep up with the CBR300 and the Cowie. I'm stoked. I didn't have enough time to ride it today. And they don't do these test rides very often, so I'm just super lucky I got this FC09. So I'm going like 60 miles an hour. Oh, 57. Well, whatever, we gotta be safe. Feeling that wind, for sure. Some kind of wind guard would be good, I'm sure, after a while. We don't have any crosswinds today, but yeah, I can feel it. But I'm so comfortable. My legs, 
my back, shoulders, everything's so comfortable. Totally different bike, love it. 60 miles an hour. Yeah, I can't tuck at all, so like, that's comforting to know when I have the R6, I can just tuck. But maybe the uh, FJ09 is more for me. Still, yeah, it'd be great to take that across country. So this is our ride, like military style. When you see somebody signal, you clear it and you make, you get over and then they get over with you. But whatever. <laughs> okay guys, so this is just a little, been a fun ride. I like it. FC09. I'm smiling. Whoop. I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love. I don't know if they want this here, but I'm gonna put it here. Kill switch. Kickstand. Off. <laughs> oh my gosh. Awesome. <laughs> FJ09. <sighs> hey, what do you think? Bad. Yeah? yeah? How is it in first? Uh, what's that? How is it in first? Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, it's a little buzzy once you get the RPMs way high. But, uh, Interesting. Uh, I, I yeah. I love it. Yeah. I mean, it's like really responsive, but it's not grabby like my R6. And I mean, I usually, I hate first gear because low end power range. I stalled it, but get it, I just get into second as fast as I can. <laughs> so, but oh, I love it. I freaking love it. Maybe because it's brand new and everything's like dreamy tires and all that, but cool. So, yeah. I, th I, I think I would like the windscreen on mine uh, yeah. for long distances. Yeah, you can fuck around. I don't know. Windscreen I've gone with or without. I don't notice much difference myself. But ah, for long distance. Oh, that's oh, okay. Yeah, oh my gosh. Of, uh, my region, so. Yeah. Dang it, I gotta go to work. But <laughs> thanks. Nice meeting you. Happy travels. Yeah, what's your name? Jessica? Jessica. Yeah. Nice meeting you. Yeah, I'm you. I'm in and out of there every time. I think I'm going to try and go up Big Cottonwood real fast. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Still recording, so might as well. Yeah. Is that R6? <sighs> yep. 09 R6, yeah. I like the golden white. Oh, thanks. It was the Raven edition, all black. Then I got in a crash and uh, just went iPod white. I got to go scrub in this new tire, so uh, I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep the rubber side down, shiny side up, and I'll... Talk to you later. It all keeps setting up. I think I'm cracking up.